belly of this boy, and the boy will not let go because his teacher said, don't let go. Carry the fox from point A to point Z. And when he got to point C, Z, the fox has beaten through his intestine. He dropped down and he died. But he fulfilled the commission. He didn't fail at it. I'm thinking right now of Chairman Mao, of China. Why am I sharing all of this with you? Serve the Lord's Christ by serving His people. The three men were sent to change the course of history. Only three made it. There was a bridge in China that linked the east to the west, east of China to the west of China, the centers of population to the to the to the to the mountainous region where the communist gorillas were hiding. It was a bridge that was historically impossible to take. Chamamal looked, looked at the platoon of his men and said, take that bridge. Take that bridge and take it tonight. Tomorrow morning, supplies coming from the Kuomitang to prevent taking of the bridge. So take it tonight. And you know what? Those 23 men went through that impossible landscape. Twenty of them died in the process. Not from shots from the enemy, but from the environment falling inside the ditch, swept away by the rivers. Twenty died in the process, but three made it to the end and secured that bridge change the history of the world. Am I boring you? No. You have an opportunity to change something. Oh, don't bother with changing anything. Just live your life into your food and fun. When you get into heaven, you will cry. That's what the scripture says. Not me. He said, when we get to heaven, there will be weeping and crying nation of teeth. Why? No ready never. But there will be sorrowful deep weeping in heaven. Why? And the angels will be saying, ah, don't cry again. It is over. Don't cry. You will not be able to stop crying. Why? Because you will see what you would have done that you did not do. And you say, you mean this is what I could have done that I did not do? And then you will wow. start crying again and start crying again. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. But like Paul, Apostle Paul, you will walk into that purely gate with your head, head set high, with your eyes very sharp, like Caleb, like Joshua. You will walk in into that place and say, I fought a good fight. Mm. Mm. I fought a good fight. Yes. Yes. Now there's laid all out for me a crown. I thought you would walk into it in Jesus' name. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now all of us, you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> Serious. The issues that we need to deal with. You know, I'm talk, talking about leadership. You know, what people will do for political purposes. I printed this out. The former Prime Minister of Israel says, Partition Jerusalem. How can an Israeli say, Partition Jerusalem? 
give half of it to the Jews, I mean to the Arabs. Um, I told you I'm not a politician, but certain things are fundamental. For political purposes, mm. you will send away your people. I'm talking about warfare today. Be aware of things that are important to him. Mm. How do I get into this things? I want you to open your Bible, close your eyes first of all. Let's pray. Father Lord, we don't want to cry when we get to heaven. Mm. So we ask you to please help our heart. I start with myself. I ask you to help my heart. And I ask you to help the heart of everybody that is seated in this place. Father, we are not in this for religious purposes. We are in this because you matter to us. And what matters to you matters to us. Help us to be able to be strong in addressing what matters to you, which is loving one another. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to go back to our meditation on Psalm 24. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to go back to our meditation on Psalm 24. Who shall ascend unto the hills of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that has a clean hands. Let's all say together, clean hands. I want you to say it as if you made it. Clean hands. Clean hands. You see, in the last of two weeks ago, we look at the wandering hands and the walking hands as a critical phase in the development of clean hands. All of us at the beginning of our lives, we start with what? Wandering hands, hands that go where they are not supposed to go, right? Yeah. <laughs> and God will kill those hands in Jesus' name. Yeah. Some people's hands are still wandering. Touching what it's not supposed to touch. And you are not the first to be in that dilemma. Uh, Adam, our father, was in exactly the same dilemma. And Eve, they are the first fellows with wandering hands. And we are where we are because uh, they are the wandering hands. But God wants to heal our hands from wandering. He wants to cause our hands to be sharp, walking hands. Not walking for sorrow. You remember two weeks ago I explained that? Uh, uh, when, when Enoch said, I mean when Enoch's father Lamech said, our walk has become sorrow. Your walk will not become sorrow in Jesus' name. Yeah. Not walking for sorrow. But walking for joy because that is what God has created all of us to do. <clears throat> Your walk will be joy in, this, in Jesus' name. Amen. And you know, walk becomes joy when you have fulfillment, when you have immanence, when, when, when what is inside you is transferred into physical reality. You will not die with your ideas. <laughs> One of the most painful things in life is to have something inside that you don't know how to bring out. And it, it, it becomes restricted. You are like a dam. You know, you are like a, you know, uh, the, the wise one in the book of Sons of Solomon said, My sister, you are like a garden that is locked up. You will not be a garden locked up. Amen. So he, he prayed, he said, this wind blow on my sister. Yes. Blow. So I pray in the name of Jesus.